There was some research recently uh, into um, asking people to try to figure out, you know, which of two websites was more credible. Um, and they asked a group of students and a group of journalists and a group of professional fact checkers. Um, and interestingly, um, you know, the students and journalists both had a kind of mixed uh, record um, and the, the professional fact checkers did very well. And the difference in their approaches, um, you know, was significant because um, essentially the students and a lot of the journalists were looking at these websites, um, scrolling through them, um, looking at how they appeared, um, reading the content on them. Um, whereas the fact checkers were looking around the websites. So they were looking at where are these sites referred to on the rest of the web? What do other experts in the field have to say about them? Um, kind of all of the references in um, rather than uh, the references on the web page. You know, knowledge exists in a context. <laughs> And um, generally speaking, you know, every once in a while, uh, you'll find kind of like the brilliant idea or the brilliant finding that no one on the rest of the internet has discovered. But mostly, you know, smart people on the internet have discovered most smart things on the internet. And so it's that process of triangulation um, where you're looking for other experts who will validate that this source or this idea um, is, is credible. Um, is really like the critical component of um, figuring out what's what what to believe, and um, and people think we we all think, uh, and this is true with human beings, and it's true with news or or online sources. We all think we're very good judges of who's lying and who's telling the truth, um, but we're very susceptible to you know is is it a beautiful uh, serif font. That it's presented in, or is it um, something that looks lower grade? Is the person charismatic, or are they um, stuttering? These cues turn out not to have very much to do with what's credible or not, but we're very susceptible to them, and so that's why you know, sort of looking at who else believes that this is credible is a really important part of the process. Mm -hmm.